Meet the Go Series, Avermedia's next-gen lineup built for handheld and mobile creators, with USB-C capture, charging, and display packed into one sleek solution. We made it official, Go Series is now switched to, ready. Simply grab the firmware update from the description below, install it, and you're good to go. So how does each Go device fit into your Switch to experience? Let's take a look. First, plug the Switch to power cord into the extra Go USB-C port labeled with the lightning bolt. Next, use an HDMI cable to connect the extra Go HDMI out port. Then, plug the other end into your monitor. Now, use a USB-C to USB a cable to connect the extra Go PC port marked with a computer icon, to your PC's USB port. Use the USB-C to USB-C cable to connect the Nintendo Switch to directly to the extra Go USB-C port labeled with the game controller icon. Once everything's connected, open your favorite streaming or recording software, like OBS or Streaming Center. You're now ready to capture, stream, or record in real time. If you prefer a simple setup, the extra Go also lets you record without a PC, just press the button and start recording directly to a microSD card. Once all connections are made, your extra Go will start capturing video from the Switch 2 in real time. Use a USB-C to USB-C cable to connect the Switch 2 to the C1 port on the Elite Go. Next, use an HDMI cable to connect the Elite Go to your monitor for display. Finally, use a USB-C to USB-C cable to connect the C2 port on the Elite Go to your PC. Use a USB-C to USB-C cable to connect the Switch 2 to the C1 port on the Core Go. Then, use an HDMI cable to connect the Core Go to your monitor for gameplay viewing. Do not connect any O accessories such as headphones or USB-C devices like speakers or webcams directly to the Switch 2. If you need audio, please connect your headset to your PC. Once all connections are set, your Go series will begin capturing from the Switch 2 instantly. Enjoy capturing your gameplay. Avermedia. AI streaming.